So a while back, my good friend Arduino vs. Evil posted a t-shirt onto teespring.com and told his subscribers about it. And it got enough sales to actually be made and shipped. Well, I bought one and it just came in today. Pretty happy with it. The original logo that he had on there was not made correctly to where on um, if you got a, a I think if you got the one of the white shirts it would be a white wrench with a black box around it thankfully I'm not sure if he did or if they did but they changed it and so it looks really really looks really nice now although personally I wouldn't be I wouldn't be averse to it just being the wrench with AVE on it whatever I think Skookum Trucher is good on there though because he has a very interesting and hilarious vocabulary that I just love. So I don't know anybody else that uses that word. That's obviously Arduino versus Evil. This is a very nice feeling. I like this. Also, it's white. White clothes are great whenever it's hot because they don't absorb the light as much. They just kind of reflect it. That's why a lot of the times I, I wear like fluorescent type clothing because if I wear a fluorescent t-shirt, it absorbs a lot less heat, especially in the, I, I believe it's the infrared range, than like black clothing. So yeah, this is going to be nice. I think this t-shirt may enter into my daily rot or my, my weekly rot rotation of clothes. Yeah, pretty happy. I kind of have, well, I like to help people, especially channels that I love. Like, I love Arduino vs. Evil's channel. He's a good friend, but I also love his videos. He's the fourth, he, he's my fourth favorite YouTuber that I really know of, that I can think of right now. There's Vsauce, all three of them. They're kind of, if I could, I'll say all three, but if you have to really narrow it down, Vsauce is one, of course. Photonic Induction. Periodic videos, and I would say there's Arduino vs. Evil, and then Aussie Fifty at the end, because Aussie Fifty, Aussie Fifty is kind of the YouTuber that really made me want to make a lot of videos, and he really like. I used to really like, really love his uh, video style, but I kind of moved on to other people. I see he's kind of made videos a little, a little lesser here recently, or so it seemed. And so now I kind of like look at other people's things to see, oh, how, how are they editing or whatever. But not, nothing bad against Arduino vs. or against Aussie 50. He's just, I would say Aussie 50 is the fifth, and Arduino vs. Evil is my fourth favorite. I would love to help all the channels that I love, but a lot of them use Patreon, and I take ki kind of an issue with Patreon because Patreon is a middleman that doesn't really give anything. Teespring is a middleman that gives a t-shirt. That makes sense for them to take the money, but Patreon, well, why should they get 10% of the money I give to Arduino vs. Evil or to Aussie 50 or somebody whenever I can just give them a thousand dollar check and kind of, meh. Because I also hate like the monthly thing. It's like, no, I, I don't want to have to give you a monthly thing. I just want to give you a shitload of money and you do something with it. And maybe like every couple years I do that. I don't know. Not like it's on a time scale or anything, but just kind of randomly, like, ah, I'll give you some money. Like, here's $100 or here's a $500 or whatever. But yeah. I find that getting a t-shirt from somebody makes a little more sense than going through a middleman to give them money. So it's a nice way to, to help people out. Also, maybe this will get him some more subscribers. Because the last time I checked, he had, like, almost 80,000 subscribers. I remember whenever me and Arduino vs. Evil were competing to reach 1,000 subscribers. Which, I, I, if I remember correctly, I won that, by the way. Until I reached about 14,000. That's whenever he just exploded. And now he's getting, like, 700 subscribers a day. It's crazy. So, I'm kind of hoping that maybe I can, like, help him get even more subscribers. Because I... I I'd really love to see what he does whenever he gets the silver YouTube play button. Because whenever you hit 100,000 subscribers, you get a silver play button. That'd be kind of interesting. I can't wait to get that, but it's probably going to be like three or four years until I get 100,000 subscribers. If everything goes right. I don't know. But he, he might get the silver play button by the end of the year. And I'm just so, like, curious. Is the silver play button pure silver? I, I, I really want to know. So just maybe go to his channel subscribe just just for the sake of giving him more subscribers. But 
I get the feeling that most of you came from his channel. Ah, well. This has been a little rant. I guess a big shout-out for Arduino vs. Evil. Hmm. But, anyway, I believe the t-shirt's back up now for, like, a second round of, of publishing or printing or whatever. So, get your own if you want. Ah, well. What's... Hmm, what's been up with me? Oh. I've been gathering the parts to make my second uh, tricycle battery pack. I have all the cells tested, I think 115 or so, and I only need 104. So that's 11 that, is, that are extra, so I can make sure I, I get rid of the tiny ones and put them into something else. And so I can just make sure I have the right cells. And I've 3D printed brackets for them, and I can't wait to show you guys, but I'm still getting all the parts. And that includes nickel strips, which I get 25 feet of nickel strip. I have a bunch of fuses coming in, little Pico fuses. They're like four cents a piece. Each are four amps. They can be running in parallel. So if I pull a lot of power from the battery, the amperage will be distributed through them all. But if a cell shorts out, all that power will go through that one fuse and pop it. So it'll not have any problems of short circuiting, even though I haven't had any in my batteries yet. And I'm going to be making a spot water out of this. This is a stereo battery that a friend gave me, and he was actually trying to make a spot loader also. And so it's like, it's almost already done. I have a solid state switch called a thigh wrister coming in the mail from China, and that'll be maybe a week or so away. So then I can just control it by a button. And I might get another one of these to run it in parallel to give me more power, but two farads at like 16 volts, that should probably, so, uh, that should probably spot weld some pretty good stuff. Ah, well. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you go check out Arduino vs. Evil's channel. And thanks for watching. See ya!